Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're at Haunt Expo, or sorry, Beer Expo. Um, this is day three. This is Sunday, the final day of Beer Expo. Um, so far I taught my class this morning on distressing and creating costumes and characters. Um, pretty good. Uh, turnout, the classes are much smaller here. Um, 20 people will about fill the room, so. Um, I think the class I did yesterday had about 20 people. The class I did today had about 20 people. It grew as time went on because I was like the first class at 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, people aren't that close. Like the hotels aren't super close to the convention center like they are in St. Louis. But um, yeah. But convention's going pretty good. We sold the shock therapy. Or sorry, reanimated. We sold this guy. So that's awesome. So at this show we sold Reanimated and we sold the Chainlink Slammer. So that's really cool. Uh, which I mean is nice because those are the two that we already have in our haunt. So if I was going to add any to our haunt, I'd add the padded cell guy anyway. So that works out for us. Um, we looked at some stuff from Purgatory Props. Um, they have really cool controllers and items that are going to allow us to make some really cool stuff we went over and talked to Scython um, that we are using for haunt actor management and scheduling this year um, essentially we've got just a small amount of time left we're trying to move as much product out of the booth as we can so it's been a pretty good show um, we have made some money so that is a big plus um, talking to some of the other the other vendors um, some of them have made some money a lot of them have not had a great turnout on product I'm not sure why I'm not sure what they brought I'm not sure what they are doing but for us it has been a, uh, a profitable show um, so that's cool um, I will tell you as a vendor as a VIP, there is a lot of perks to come to this show. They, they, they feed you every day, which is really cool. You also get um, free access to the parties and the shows that they have every night. We didn't attend them because there's only three of us that have VIPs, so that means there's like eight of us that do not, so then they would have had to pay to go to the shows. And um, I guess we weren't really into it this year, but um, that's one, I guess, not great thing not about the convention but about Owensboro there's not a lot of stuff to do here um, st. Louis for example has of course the restaurants all over the place there's a bowling alley there's escape rooms there's stuff you can go out and do to have a, a good time after the convention here it's just this stuff that's happening at the convention to do um, the restaurants we've eaten at have been pretty good well honestly all of them have been really good the Italian restaurant we ate at last night was fantastic uh, the restaurant we ate at the night before was fantastic so also the food they give you here on the convention floor was also very good um, the ones at Transworld often will give you more like appetizer stuff here they give you like a meal they gave us pasta they gave us uh, chicken breasts things like that um, it's been very good so we're gonna see how load out goes um, see how all that happens but let's see what else has happened on the trade show floor all right so we're closing up uh beer expo it, it officially closes at two um i believe it officially closes at two um it's like 145 right now everyone's starting to tear down they told us um the show overall had like 2800 attendees so there's that um this is their third year so we made some pretty good money um we got some cool stuff that we're taking home. Uh, we moved some animations, and now we're gonna tear down our booth, and I'll show you how that goes. All right, I'm trying to talk loud because there's music, but whole booth tore down. It's like 4:30 exactly, so about two and a half hours to get everything loaded on the truck and tore down and swept, and everyone fought, and that was cool. So that shit's all done too. There's a whole episode of Jerry Springer happening in this motherfucker. Everything's going on, so. Anyway, let's get the fuck out of here, Fear Expo 2024. Hi, Patrick Voss. Here's the convention floor. Mostly tore down. Hello. Pretty cool. 
So up here at HHP, we're actually pulling out. We just unloaded. Um, unload took us like half, like half an hour, so that was cool. It's pretty we're fast. I know, but we've got like a couple minutes. bodies to bring into your house. I mean, that's like the quickest unload ever. So that's cool. We're gonna do tomorrow a whole bunch of moving. Stuff's gotta move to the haunt. Stuff's gotta move to the house. All kinds of stuff to get shipped, stored for, we're ready to ship, all that good stuff. Hey guys, welcome back. Today, we are back from Fear Expo. We are up here at HHP. So we're, we're we've got a new schedule. Um, we're basically gonna be switching off, spending one full day at HHP and one full day at the haunt. Sundays will be a split shift as long as we are at the haunt before uh, three. But um, this should, this is gonna let us spend like less time driving around and more time working on stuff. Um, it should produce, it should increase productivity at both places because we actually can spend more time at both places. So project one for today, um, and for us now that we're back is this. Get this storage unit cleaned out. Um, a lot of this is product that needs to go to Shannon's house. So a lot of today is gonna to be driving back and forth, moving product to her house. Um, and other stuff needs to go to the haunt, like this needs to go to the haunt, that needs to go to the haunt, stuff like that. So um, moving stuff here and there and all over the place. But the, the goal is to get this storage cleaned out today so that we can get um, racking put up and we can start organizing in here and getting stuff like stored up on the walls. So yeah, we're gonna start, let's do it.